25th of January 1942. USS Perch is en route to patrol in the East China Sea. Captain O'Hare and the crew have endured a stressful first patrol, having successfully infiltrated a secret agent onto the Japanese homeland. The USS Perch headed back to patrol the China Sea. Despite the poor weather, they were able to sink four merchant ships and escape from a close encounter with a Japanese destroyer. Having taken some damage and with fuel running low, the USS Perch has since refueled and rearmed in the port of Singapore, before setting sail once again back to the East China Sea. Hi everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 4 and the patrol of USS Perch. Um, yes, we've been down to Singapore, refueled and rearmed. Um, what they've done is basically replenished what we had already fired, so uh, any Mark 14 torpedoes have been replaced, so uh, it's not a case that we were able to swap out them with some more Mark 10s, unfortunately. Um, but we're heading back up to the East China Sea. And uh, as you can see, while the sea is still choppy, the wind's still up and it's causing us to have uh, near seasick um, symptoms, uh, the fog has lifted. Thank heavens, we couldn't see anything. Absolutely miserable, wasn't it? Um, so the fog has lifted, and now that we can see... Where are they? There. We've spotted a ship. It's a merchant ship can't see any obvious deck guns at this point but my goodness me okay that's fantastic we can actually see on the horizon for once first time ever so if that is a lonesome then do we save our torpedoes and we just um, go in with the deck gun what's the the state of the deck can we use the deck gun in this weather let's keep an eye on it see if it gets um flooded it looks okay actually doesn't it I think we'd probably get away with it we may get the old erroneous wave which will um, swamp it but yeah I think I think we're probably good I think we're probably good to use the deck gun so we'll close in on this ship now uh, keep an eye on it just in case there aren't you know, any uh, guns that we've missed and uh, and then we'll um, engage and try and get uh, our first kill on the 25th of January for this uh, weekly patrol at least uh, obviously we've got four kills already let's just remind you of those on the 31st of December we destroyed a old split freighter for 2,432 tons on January 4th we got a old split freighter a medium old split freighter for 5,498 tons. On the 5th of January, we sunk a medium European composite freighter for 5,287 tons. And on the 8th of January, a medium European composite freighter uh, for 5,274 tons. So, whatever this is, um, we will be sure to uh, try and add that quickly to the uh, logbook. You can see she's getting kicked around in the waves as well. She's not having a particular... Sounded like a big wave then, didn't it? Just as the music cut out. Uh, so yeah, we'll... Um... Where has she gone? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking she's a quite a small ship. The fact that she's being kicked around so much by the waves. So it's probably an old small split freighter or something. But um, yeah, let's close in and see what she is. Right, confirmation, no deck guns that I can see. She's, um, looks like she's now gunning it. Um, and she is moving. Well, I think, is she going to try and ram? I don't know. But, um, yeah, we'll sail, sail in behind her and uh, we'll rake her with the deck gun. Right. 
Right, here we go. Uh, we've got high explosives loaded. Oh. So, break it up a bit. We're looking at low. There you go. Fire straight into the stern. Wait till we can see. Slow it down a bit. I want to get some more shots into the stern, into the uh, where the propellers and all the drive shafts and stuff are. Propeller shafts and drive shafts. Probably. Didn't quite see where that one, but obviously there was an impact. Get some on the deck to get some fires going. Let's uh, increase the range. It's a bit twitchy. Right, let's switch to armor piercing to try and um, punch some holes right through the uh, stern. I think the waves are starting to get choppy now. It could have been because we went through the wake of the ship, perhaps. Right, with armor piercing, I'm going to aim for. Uh, it's it down by the wall slug, but not really. I'm going to try and hit the rudder and the engines and the props more down there. So rake her along the side, make sure she's got water issues. Right, we're coming around now. Let's pick it up. Fire going on the front. Down by the water line, perfect. All oh, the waves are getting choppy now. Because we're cutting across the, um, the swell, yeah. Water being splashed over the optics. But the stern is almost under. Oh, and I think she's gone. Yeah, there we go. Wow. I think that's her gone. Let's um, stir the deck gun, save the ammo. Yep. And there she goes. Quickly sinking beneath the waves. Wow. There we go then. Our first kill of this return patrol. Confirmation. 25th of January at 10.31 It was a large old split freighter 8,394 tonnes Well I never, I didn't think it was I thought it was going to be another smaller vessel 8,000 tonnes there Crikey Right, well done everyone Make sure that is recorded in the log Let's um, set course back to the East China Sea and uh, see if we can pick off any more lone travellers on the way there Hi everyone, look at this! What a beautiful day! The sea is a bit choppy, but it's not too bad. The sun is making an appearance behind the cloud, but she has made an appearance today. It's bright, it's clear, it's glorious. Look at this, even Dilbert here is uh, delighted, aren't you, Dil? Yeah, of course he is. A um, bit of news just come in. Um, Let's, oh, it's messages, sorry, not my, my log. Um, so, Thailand has sided with the Japanese, declares war on England and the United States. Good job, Wales is okay then. Uh, Japanese troops have begun operations in the Solomon Islands. Right, let's have a look. Right, here we are then. This is where we are. Said it, heading north through the South China Sea. This is that uh, freighter that we attacked during the night time. Obviously coming back from Singapore, we're heading up here. Uh, we noticed there was a lot of reported traffic. You can see up here, that's why we were skirting this edge of the uh, the sea, rather than going straight through the middle, hoping to spot some ships. Obviously that worked in that situation. Uh, but we're going to be coming up here in the East China Sea. This is where we've been asked to patrol. And these are the ships that we destroyed last time. Um, there you go, there's four of them. And this is where we... This is where the agent lost his raft, but he was in, inserted into the Honshu Islands, or the Japanese homeland. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, what did they say? Japanese troops have begun operations on the Solomon Islands. So the Solomon Islands are uh, here. There they are. So where can we see? Um, Guadalcanal? Is that where they're attacking? Possibly. And there's nothing, no indication on here at the moment uh, of any movements, but we may get more flash news coming over the radio very soon. Um, yeah, interesting. Right. We're going to continue to head up here then. And, uh, and hopefully can we avoid any entanglements with the destroyers. That was a bit scary last time. We got a bit of hull damage. We were not able to repair it in Singapore because it wasn't a end patrol type repair. It's just a resupply. So it's a bit of a you know, patch, patched up job. But the um, the major damage to the hull is still there. The, uh, the elements along there, the engines and the, and the guns have all been repaired, but not the actual hull damage. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious. Hi everyone, right, we are sailing on and we have just spotted more ships. Um, it's nice to be able to spot them, isn't it? Right, we're just studying, we're just going to periscope depth, we're turning to face. Right, we got a Japanese destroyer. Um, I can't tell if they've spotted us because the waves are not being particularly helpful. Uh, she's moving at a bit of a, a lick. What else do we do have? I don't think she was alone. There we go, we've got another ship over here. Waiting for the uh, things to calm down. All the waves. There she is. There was a third ship as well. That's another destroyer. That looks like a little merchant ship. Right. Right, here we go. So we've got a destroyer and a merchant ship here. If we have a look at this, what well, we got her going as medium speed. Hi everyone. Right, we come back up to periscope depth because I thought, well, this is the one that's doing some wild search patterns. Obviously, um, keeping calm. But here's the merchant ship, and there's that other destroyer. Now, um, I can grab the pencil. Oh, we've got a couple more seconds, but there we go. There he is. Uh, we're coming past three minutes now, so coming up to three minutes fifteen, so we can get ourselves an accurate. There we go, about there. So, what is the distance that he's covered in that three minutes fifteen? It is nine hundred meters, so he's doing nine knots. Okay. Um, what we could also do is then extend that. I'm sure that other ship does, does actually clear off. Um, extend that line through uh, the cross. It's about there. Now that's where we are going to be attacking him. So what's the range going to be there? That's going to be about 600 meters, or feet here. I'm not sure. We're about 1,200 currently. Right, there she is. Let's get her locked on. Um, what do you reckon she is then? Is she a small passenger cargo? Potentially. I'd like to be able to see the ship again. And give us a better chance. Uh, did you get any detail from that? Here we go. Um, yeah, it could be, couldn't it? We'll go with that. Let's uh, lock you on. Thank you. Um, oh man, this is, this is going to be tough. So we've got a small passenger carrier. That's that's registered, which is good. Um, speed. I'm going to have to get used to this. Speed, there we go. There. Right. What have we got? Um, loaded. Tube one, we've got. So we've got the. Oh, I've got te uh, Mark Ten in four. So I might fire Tube one and Tube four. So Tube one, get ready. Opening Tube. 
the tube before, open that one as well. Lost the ship, where is she? There she is. Have I got her? No, I think I lost her again. Right, tube one, fire. Tube four, fire. Hi everyone, right, we've come down to 150 something, 155 feet down. Um, we're slowly reversing actually, we're not um, going forward. I want to keep the engines away from their listening devices, so we're just going to back away from them. So far all is going well, it was a good hit, two torpedo hits. We didn't need to fire the Mark 10 after all, the Mark 14 did its job. Um, surprising. <laughs> I'm sure we all surprised. But um, yes, it was only a close hit and uh, two good hits. And it was indeed a small passenger carrier. 1737 tons. There we go, our sixth kill on this patrol. Um, but yeah, we are just going to uh, sit quietly now and hope those two destroyers lose interest, uh, pick up survivors. Or probably not in that sort of storm and with the threat of us nearby they're probably going to sail on after a short patrol and um, although you know I think we are free to engage enemy warships um, I don't really want to risk hitting destroyers if it was a cruiser or something larger then yeah we would definitely have a few pot shots uh, but in this situation two destroyers against one submarine we are better to use the old discretion is the better part of valor phrase and, uh, and virtue and uh, just try and sneak away we've got our victory we've got the ship they were escorting sunk that um, dented their honor and now it's our chance to just try and sneak away quietly Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, managed to evade those uh, two destroyers under the cover of darkness. They never got anywhere near us, didn't even know where we were. Quickly and easily be able to slip away from them. Uh, the following morning, we are up on the surface, heading uh, north towards the East China Sea, and we've spotted something on the hydrophone bearing 025. Maybe something else. 055. Uh, more zero, no zero five zero, zero four, mm, no about zero five, zero. Um, yeah, not sure what it is. I think it's uh, we've obviously got two ships. I'm not sure if that's two ships together or because that seems further away than. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that was quite a clear engine chug, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to investigate. Sign contacts, uh, medium speed, moving away, bearing 024. That's moving away, okay. Oh, hello. We've seen it. It is a merchant ship. It looks like a large troop ship. Or something of that description. It's got... That could be a destroyer. 
behind it. Potential destroyer there. A large troop ship. Oh, another. Oh, two more destroyers there. Okay. But that is a big ship. Uh, so I certainly wouldn't mind having a shot at it. Um, can't lock onto it, unfortunately. Not at this distance. But let's go and check on the hydrophone. See what that can uh, tell us. Okay, here we are. This is what we see. And there's, there's obviously another contact up here. But we can't see that. We've seen the two lead destroyers. The destroyer back here. But this is the ship in question. That is what we're interested in. Its course is due south. And it's going fast. Right. Let's get some... Um, Let's get some uh, speed calculations done then. All right, let's pop that there and go. Okay, coming up to three minutes now. Three minutes. Uh, I'll get the speed of this um, large ship. Three o five. Three ten. There we go, 3.15. Perfect. Right, what is the range we have here? Uh, 13 knots. They're doing 13 knots. That's Yeah, that's pretty quick. Let's plot that down there then. Right, so let's try and see if we can have some long-range shots at this. Um, so let's have a look what we think that could be. Let's not go through the, uh, the warships. Um... Merchant shipping. Yeah, merchant shipping. Merchant shipping. There we go. Got there in the end. Is it that? It could well be, couldn't it? Mm, yes, I think it is. It's an old passenger carrier. 17 knots max tonnage. Uh, sorry, max speed. Tonnage is 9,000. I'd say that's probably what we're looking at. Let's get that locked in then. So, um, we've calculated the speed to be. Oh, we can do the range, I suppose. Can we look at that? I reckon that's about. ten thousand? Possibly, we'll find out. Um, Speed we know is 13 currently. Okay, we're diving. Um, there's more destroyers than we saw, uh, so we gotta dive. One was flanking around behind us, which we kind of didn't see. Um, we dived, but he saw us before we dived, so he's called in the other destroyers. Um, so we've got about three destroyers descending upon us, and one staying with the the ship. It's going past 100 feet now. Uh, we're diving down to test depth, and then we're going to try and sit quietly and hopefully avoid depth charging from these destroyers. I think our opportunity to fire has gone. It was, it was going to be... A far shot anyway, a long range shot, probably around about 7,000, 8,000 uh, range. Um, so it would have been a bit touch and go whether or not we'd actually hit them. Let's have a look. What well, we got? The Mark 14 torpedoes. They've got, oh, 8,200 meters, so it'd be right on the range of the Mark 14s. Um, at slow speed. Whether or not they would have made it with their technical issues, I don't know. We don't have any Mark 10s currently loaded on the tubes, but the Mark 10 can only do 3,200 meters, so yeah, that would have no chance to get there at all. So yeah, coming down to 150 meters now. That's sorry, 150 feet. Um, it's time to slow down, and we'll start making um, side running. Oh, 
Right. Um, if does the destroyer go right over us? Thankfully, he has not dropped any depth charges. If you have a look on the hydrophone, so he's he was literally coming for us about this angle. Are we going to pick him up? He's obviously oh, he's still over there, apparently. Or has he gone back here? He should be about here now. No? Well, there he is. That's him there. Really close to us. The other two are further south of us. Um, well, I say further south, they're further. What would they be? They would be uh, east, I think. Um, there they are. Well, there's multiple, multiple ships there. So we look from the hydrophone, we've got the one that's just come over us gone there, we've got two over here, which are dropping depth charges back here, which is where they last spotted us. Um, now we continue to move forward. Uh, this is a um, another destroyer. I think this might be the actual merchant ship. We're too deep to uh, fire a torpedo, but um, yeah, interesting. We may have been able to pop up and um, score a shot, but honestly, I'm, I'm not. I'm not thinking that at the moment. What I'm thinking is um, we just try and uh, do what we can, and uh, yeah, this one's this one's a, a no go. I'm afraid. I think we're going to cut that way. If we cut that way. Um, go quietly. We can cut him. We've got one over here escorting the merchant ship. Three back here, spinning around, searching. If we sneak off in this direction, um, that should be able to let us break from their connection. Because they'll ultimately be coming this way and stick with the uh, the ships here, won't they? Moving um, in the southerly direction. So, yeah. Um, I kind of blew that. We may just need to um, call. Uh, strike that off as a loss and then uh, move on up and um, not risk the rest of the boat. Hi everyone, right, we've come across another warship. This one appears to be on our own. Uh, let me show you where we are. We are going, coming around Formosa. Um, which Thailand is it? I think the old name for Thailand. Um, let's get that there. She's doing 13 knots, uh, and she's sailing on a course. Oh yeah. Something like that. So yeah, there's definitely, uh, I think there's one blue line here, there was two a minute ago, so there's ships following her. Um, now, how far range are we talking here? 4,300, so she's within range. We fancied having a shot. Oops. Uh, we know she's doing 13 knots. Unsuspecting, we might be able to have a pop. Uh, 95 degree angle of bow. So angle of bow is going to be 25. So you've got 13 knots, 95. What is the range? Range is going to be 3,800. 3,800, right. Um, so tube 1. Let's get that ready. Tube two, get that ready. Uh, tube three, fire. Tube one, fire. Torpedo in the water.
Well, we got a hit. Um, one of the torpedoes hit. The other one, as you can see, is still running. Um, missed. I think the first one missed. It went in front of the uh, destroyer. But the second one struck home and the enemy unit destroyed. Does it give us... Uh, Akazuki destroyer, seven, uh, 2,701 tons. I'm not sure if that's because what that's what we identified it as, or it actually puts it correctly. But um, yes, a destroyer sent down to the bottom. Not just merchants we do do, but um, we do specialise in merchants. But uh, oh, and these two blue contacts here they are. We've got an unknown ship uh, heading fast, and we've got another one. Heading fast, right? Um, do we want to do? Oh, that's an odd shape. They're odd shapes. What the hell are they? Right. If for once, can we have a bit of chance to see something with a periscope? Do you see any? The water's coming down, and the waves coming on. But they, they look um, quite chunky, whatever they are. Uh, we sunk the escort, but they, they look potentially they could be... Any, any chance that we're going to see anything? These heavy waves have been an absolute nightmare. But then it also just... Ah, hello. Oh, were they patrol boats? It also disguises our um, periscope, of course, so it's, it's not all bad. I've got a horrible feeling it's way too in the clear, it's going to be sitting there right on top of us. What the hell is that? Looks like an armed bathtub. Okay, there's two of these little makeshift armed trawlers or whatever they are. Um, I'm not interested. There's probably very. Can we actually find what they are on here? Bring a periscope down so they can't spot us. Oh, is that could be it? Patrol craft, small gunboat, or maybe that. No, I think I think it was that. What is it? It's like 20 knots, 900 tons. I'm not going to risk the boat on that. They can sail on by, not interested. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, it's um, we managed to get underway. Uh, nothing more brewing. There is something being spotted over there. Um, it's the 31st of January. Looks like smoke on the horizon. Or some weird crap going on over there anyway yeah it looks like it's like something's on fire doesn't it it's moving though a steam train ah, anyway um we're gonna sail on um as we go not sure. three two three something over there as well oh god yes there is oh my god that's huge that looks like capital ships lots of them two battleships potentially and cruisers oh my goodness me right that definitely looks like a battleship doesn't it and that looks like a battleship We've got cruisers and support ships with them. Right, if we could have a pop at a a battleship, then I would be oh over the moon. Now I don't know what that was. That um smoke, where is it gone? There. The hell is that? It looks like a burning What the actual is that? Bearing, one, zero, three, 
It's not firing at me. I'm not sure what that is, to be fair. It looks like a sail ship. What is that? Okay, I've just had to Google that. That is the Flying Dutchman. Dutchman. It is, in fact, a ghost ship. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. Anyway, um... I, did, I, I just googled what is this a glowing sail ship and it's like yeah the Flying Dutchman is in game. I was like oh okay. Fine that's not ex what I was expecting on a historical um, sim but there we go. Um, wait hang on. Let's try and... where are these bloody ships gone? They should be over about here. Because I... there they are. Right, yeah, I've turned to try and get in front of them and um, we're going to blad along on the surface and see if we can um, get into an ambush position on those battleships. But my word, the Flying Dutchman. Put that in the log for sure. Has that gone into the log actually? Uh, enemy convoy spotted. No, anything, anything about... I think we should make a note in there. January 31st, 1942. The Flying Dutchman spotted near Formosa. We are making our way now. I'm sorry, I hate to be that guy. But we're going to leave it there this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy the Silent Hunter series of USS Perch on our adventures and our wiki patrols. It's the 31st of January 1942. It's been eventful. This is still technically our first patrol. We've dropped off the spy into Japan. We've sunk a number of ships, including the destroyer and numerous merchant ships. Uh, taken a bit of depth charge damage. Um, and now, it's all escalated. We've found what appears to be a battleship task group. And we are flying to try and intercept. Talking of flying, we've also seen the ghost ship flying Dutchman sailing these waters but what a what a what a bizarre couple of last few minutes it's it's been really strange but what we're gonna do is try and set up for a good ambush and pick this up again next week when we will attempt to ambush this battle group and uh, and survive we still haven't made it back to the East China Sea which is our patrol but it's been it's been chock-a-block. Sometimes you can sail for days without seeing anything, but at the moment it's just an absolute overload in um, traffic. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of action next week. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Join me for the uh, what could be our last battle. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully it's going to be glory to the crew and the ship or USS Perch. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.